First at six, flames sweep through a billiard store in Dayton. Good evening, I'm Holly Samuels. Anthony Kiko is live with more on what firefighters are calling a suspicious blaze. Anthony? An arson investigator was here in the 300 block of Huffman Avenue earlier, sifting through the charred remains of this building you see behind me. And I'm told that investigation turned up a few suspicious things. Plumes of smoke fill the sky as firefighters battle an inferno at this billiard store. I've never seen anything like this. Amanda Walton lives across the street and says around 8 a.m. this morning she realized something was wrong. I kind of woke up and then ran through the house waking everybody else up because the smoke was real bad. Firefighters got to the scene shortly after. When we arrived, we found the building was already well involved. No one was inside, but the heat from the fire could be felt outside. You could actually stand on the front porch and feel the fire because the heat was so bad. Firefighters tell 2 News someone might have deliberately set the blaze. We do have an investigator on the scene. There were some suspicious circumstances involved. She'll be completing her investigation uh, over the next couple of days. In the meantime, DPNL has turned off power in the area. It's a big pain. Despite the inconvenience, Walton says watching the fire has been... One hell of a show, I'll say that. Now, neighbors say just about an hour ago, power was restored after multiple homes in the area were without electricity. And again, the fire is still under investigation. Reporting live in Dayton, Anthony Kiko, 2 News on your side.